that they will say, yes, we are the problem. And when you ask them, but what will you do about it? They will say nothing. They are sometimes aware of the problem and they are aware that they are the problem, but they're still lacking the, something to push them to act. That is where I think uh, legislation comes in the big picture. Again, on the other side, you have fishermen. They will say, nothing is wrong, everything is fine. We don't have to change what we, have, what we catch is enough. And uh, I did it, my grandpa did it 50 years ago. My great-grandfather did it 100 years ago. My son will continue after me and they don't see the problem. So uh, the government should provide them, let's say, with another option. So we don't have to cancel fisheries and forbid it, everything. Like, I'm completely against it. But to promote uh, fishing tourism, to promote other ways of, for them to provide for themselves should be something uh, that should be more promoted, especially in Croatia. Everything here, it's mostly small scale, but it has a big imp impact because the fishing efforts are big. People are trying, trying and trying to, to find fish. People from Split are going to Istria. People from Istria are going to Split just to catch and catch and catch and catch more. But something that was constantly picking uh, us in the back of our heads was actually the fishing tools, the forgotten fishing tools, the fishing nets, uh, the trap cages. Um, again, every, let's say, nicer dive location. So after a lot, a lot of work on Posidonia Meadows, we would go on a wall, on a deep dive somewhere, and uh, there would be so many long lines on that wall that you can't even concentrate on the organisms that are passing by you from all the nets and long lines that you see. So uh, all the fishing nets are actually uh, the way how we can show people what is there, what are they putting down and uh, that is something that is not good. The old fishing nets are heavy like a bycatch for a few months after they are down. After that, usually there is no impact except degrading the fishing nets and they, they can cover some organisms. But the organisms are quite strong, they're just uh, growing again on the fishing nets and everything. Uh, actually, is why we are doing it is just to, to raise awareness of that is, there is something down there that shouldn't be there. Uh, those are really tricky part because sometimes they are there for so long that you are not sure should you even take it out or should you leave it. How much damage will you do by leaving it or by taking it out. But we have decided uh, last year that we are going to try to map the areas around our summer base that it's Silba where we do have leftover fishing tools and that we will scan those locations and try to find ones where we, from a biologist point of view, consider that it would be more good than bad to take them out. So they, if they are left, uh, the nets, the long lines, the cages, they are still continuing to fish. So none of the fishermen that have lost those tools wanted to lose them. Like they're not doing that on purpose. But it is a fact that sometimes they would throw 300 meters of net and it would be worth their while, worth their while to, to leave the last 50 meters if in the rest of 250 they caught many, many fish. Um, and uh, they know where to avoid the spots, but uh, that, doesn't, um, that doesn't lead to, to lack of, uh, of them in the, in the sea because 
There are nets everywhere, 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 everywhere. And we actually established a collaboration for with a few fishermen on Silva. They have also given us maps where they know that there are left fishing nets, so they could, could can avoid them after. Um, so we started to take them out. Uh, we are started to visiting locations, uh, let's say guided by the local fishermen. And uh, each location, each net, each part of the net, it's their, it's their own story. So as in any underwater uh, cleanup action, every item is its specific story. Should you take it out or no? Like, uh, the, I think the, the biggest thing that impacted me was on one underwater cleanup. I saw a sea cucumber that looked like two sea cucumbers. And why was that? It's actually because when it was really, really small, it got into a zip tie that was still zip tied. <laughs> and it actually grew into two parts and completely, uh, let's say, halved way in, uh, uh, with that zip tie. So every item is its own story. Sometimes we, we see what is happening and then we just leave everything. But sometimes uh, you know that that location is visited by many divers. It poses danger to people that are diving there as well, but it also poses a danger to the marine life that is still living there. So it's usually overgrown by algae and I don't want to sound like algaes are not worth but usually when they're only covered by algaes we would mostly take them out because leaving them there can lead to uh, let's say many many more deaths than just a bunch of algaes being dried down. We cannot do anything actually. We, can, we will clean this bay and we clean another bay and that's it. There is a few piles of garbage. But important is the public awareness. Lots of people are involved here, which is very, very nice. Lots of young people are involved in this cleaning action. So I think when they are involved, when they put some garbage out, I think that in their mind won't be any second that they can think I would throw this again in the sea. And this is something that we are, we are achieving through those actions. So we are not, we are, we are not, the goal is not to clean the whole ocean because it's impossible. But the goal is to stop making more mess. And microplastic is something that we are not, not aware of how, how much microplastic there is in the, in the sea. And the problem with microplastic is not that we, are, we would digest microplastic. Okay, then we are digesting, we go through our system and goes out usually. But the problem is that on microplastics, it's, uh, it's, uh, the toxins are attracted with microplastics because of chemical adhesive reaction. And that's the problem. <coughs> so, if you digest lots of microplastic with lots of toxins, so actually you are accumulating the toxins in your organisms. Not just we, there are lots of animals. From jellyfish to the fish to then to mammals and as well to humans. Especially if we are big fish eaters, we are accumulating lots of, not just heavy metals, we are accumulating lots of a very cancerogen things and which is not good. So I would say that's the biggest problem of plastic 